Hey guys, so I'm currently sitting on the lawn south of the Carpentry War Memorial. Not quite sure where my deep fond love of war memorials came from. Well, to be honest, I actually do know precisely when and how it started. Canberra in uh, 2008. If you watch this, Catherine, thank you for that one. <laughs> so one of the first things I did when I arrived was have a look where the war memorial is and I am amazed because the park is huge. It's got playgrounds, it's got a tennis, got a few tennis courts actually, it's got a golf course, it's got this massive massive lawns and I think we've got like four or five of them. So it is an absolutely astonishing place to be and at the moment all the leaves falling around it's um, a very nice day. I'm already here for two weeks and I have to say the weather was quite amazing. Hey there goes the sun. We had a few rainy days and we had a few nasty days, but quite, quite lovely. Definitely is autumn now, but very enjoyable. I hope the weather stays this lovely. So I had no idea what to do, so I came here. And um, I hope you like it. I'll show you now around the War Memorial. So this is it, the Coventry War Memorial. Obviously not quite as impressive as the one in London or in Canberra, but certainly worthy enough to have a photo taken of it. And uh, one part I think is particularly interesting is uh, to be seen on this side of the war memorial. Oop, and there I go in the shadows. Since it was already built after World War I, to be precise, in 1927 the building was finished, it was dealt quite some damage in World War II by the bombing, so you actually can still see where direct hits were dealt, and that is one of the areas right there. That spot. And since I like this place so much, you're probably gonna see it a few more times over the next year. I think this park is absolutely beautiful. Not only does it have squirrels by the dozen, but also people who keep it clean annoyingly right when I try to make a video. But also does it have this area which is called the German Garden. It was erected in 1965 when uh, German gardeners came over to a garden show and ever since then has been around here. So naturally I had to come here and pay it a visit and I'll now flee since the man with the leaf blower is coming closer and closer right there. So I made myself comfortable on the West Lawn and enjoyed the beautiful weather for a little bit more before I then decided it was time to pack things up. So I hope you guys had a day as lovely as I did and uh, see you around soon. In case you missed it out, down here is my last video, my first vlog in England and down here is the channel trailer, so enjoy these. And since I forgot it in the main video, stay safe and see you soon. Rather a travel where the road will be the ultimate game. There might even be some real travel be involved. So come and join me. But um, yes, no.